Hi all, Falcon 2000 driver here. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your broken laptop screen on an Acer Aspire model 7750G as in Golf-6645. There are many variants of this model and uh, they all use the same procedure so yours just might be one of them. Before we get started I'm going to show you the extensive list of tools we'll need and that's it right there. We need a small flathead screwdriver, small Phillips head screwdriver, a pocket knife with a, a pointy uh, tip and a guitar pick or similar flat plastic device. Before we begin working on anything that's powered electrically we need to make sure that we remove the power source. So we're going to flip the laptop over and use our screwdriver to push on the battery lock release that pops the back edge of the battery up, lift it up, remove the battery, set it aside. Turn the laptop back over, open it up, push on the power button for about 10 seconds. That's going to re uh, release any residual electrical charge that's uh, stored in the capacitors in the circuit board in the laptop so that if you touch something you shouldn't inside, you won't get shocked. Once that's completed, we're going to remove the bezel around the, uh, the laptop itself, the screen. In order to do so, there are two screws, one in the lower left, one in the lower right, that are covered with little plastic covers. They have uh, adhesive on the back side of them. So take your, uh, your sharp knife, your pointy knife, and you're going to, I'm going to show you one of those little covers. There it is, right there. I'm going to insert the tip of my knife underneath the edge of the round cover and I'm going to lift it off and set it aside. Same thing on the other side. Once those are removed, I'm going to use my Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw on the lower right and the screw on the lower left. Now I can begin to take the bezel off. I lower the laptop screen and you can see a little seam running along where the uh, top edge where the, the bezel meets the, uh, the laptop top case. I usually get my fingernail underneath that seam a little bit and split it apart a little and it gives me room enough to get my guitar pick in there and then just run the guitar pick all along that edge on the top and down both sides and that will release the little clips that hold the bezel on. You can lift the laptop screen up just a little. Now I usually run my fingernails underneath this edge that mates with the screen itself and kind of pull towards me. And that will release the clips on the bezel on the bottom once that's released, you can set the bezel aside. There are six screws that hold the laptop screen itself to the laptop plastic case. You need to remove the two lower right, two on the lower left. And then before I uh, remove the top ones, I usually remove the laptop camera connection on the wiring harness. And it's right there. You can see the connector is right here. There's a piece of foil tape right here that holds the harness. I lift that up, move it out of the way. There's a little rectangular box that fits in a recess in the, uh, the top of the laptop. You can pull that out and pull the wire out and use my screwdriver and pull on the wire gently to pull that connection off. Okay, so the connector's off for the laptop camera. We can now remove the two top screws. And we can lay the laptop case top down on the table and pull the screen down. Here's the main wiring harness, runs over to the main connector, another harness that runs up here to that wire to that connector we pulled off for the camera. 
There's double sided tape that hold that on. I'm just going to lift that up and off. Same thing down here. I'm just going to lift the, the back side of it up to release the double sided tape. Then you're going to need to take your knife and lift up the edge of this clear tape that holds the connector on. And once you get that loose and lift it up, hold it up, grab a hold of the back of the uh, wiring harness and just pull the connector straight off. Once that's disconnected, we need to take the, uh, the old screen off the screen frame. So, there are three screws on this side and three on the other side. They're Phillips head screws. They're actually four screw holes, but they use the bottom two and the very top one. I'll remove these three screws, and they are smaller screws than the ones we removed previously, so you can't really get them mixed up. Turn it around. Move these screws on the left side. Now I can lift our old screen off, set it aside. Get your new screen. I usually pull the plastic uh, protective cover off because if you don't, you will mount it to the frame and you won't be able to get the tape off the back side. So I take the tape off, and lift the protect protective cover off. Turn the screen upside down carefully, orient it properly so that the bottom with the connector is near the hinges. You can lay it down on your keyboard. Line it up with the frame for the holes here. And we're going to put all six of those screws back in. Same on the other side. Once that's accomplished, we can reattach the, uh, the wiring harnesses. The main cable I do first, slide the connector on the wiring harness underneath of the connector on the screen, get it centered, gently wiggle it and pull it towards you so that it's connected. Push the tape down, push the, the wiring harness down where the double sided tape is. I usually hold this and then pull the harness fairly kind of snug and hold it so that it has the same gap all the way across the bottom of the screen and then you can lay this harness down, push it down so the double sided tape sticks and just run it straight up here for the uh, camera. Now we can lift up the screen and we can put the top back on. It has some pins, some guide pins that fit in the holes. And I usually start with the top screw. Once we get the two top screws in place, we can now put our connector back on for our camera. Just slide it into the connection. You can use your little flathead screwdriver to help push on the top side and bottom side to slide it into place. Push the little black uh, box that's connected to the wiring harness into its recess and you can put the foil tape back over the harness. Continue putting the bottom screws in and make sure you use the center hole and the inner hole on both sides because the outer hole is for the screw we took out that holds the bottom of the bezel on. Now make sure that your wiring harness runs between the guide pins that are molded into the laptop top. It has to be pushed in deeply. One goes to the left of one pin, to the right of another pin, and so forth. Kind of like a ski slalom poles. Make sure the wiring harness is pushed all the way back in. And we can take our bezel. Put the hinge covers down first. 
I usually hold the back side of the laptop screen and use the back side of my fingernails and push down low and work your way across till you hear it snap into place. Work your way up the sides till you hear it snap. Once that's in, we can put the last two screws in again. We can put our little black covers on, cover the screws. And that's complete. We can close the laptop, turn it over, reinstall the battery. Open it up, and the moment of truth. Push the power button. And voila. It's complete. That's all there is to it. Appreciate you taking the time today to see how to do this. I hope that uh, if you need to make this replacement that it goes just as easy as it did for me. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye now.